Clubbers, time to join our hero for another exciting slam bang rootin' tootin' episode. Probably right, yes. Great trick, Wolf. You're becoming a regular wonder dog. Wonder what kind of reward I should give you. Uh, about 500 bucks. Wolf, these are gourmet dog treats made by the finest French chef in Pittsburgh. They're irresistible. Catch. <laughs> No problem, Wolf. I'll just move the couch and... Oh, hi. Oh, hey, how you doing, Wally, huh? Good to see you, Whitebeard. Time for another adventure? Oh, you got that right, kiddo. And it's gonna be a trip with a twist. Meet Miss Pixie. Hey, okay. Miss Pixie. Oh, my goodness, my gracious. <laughs> Well, I don't know how I ended up in there. <laughs> Miss Pixie, I want you to meet Wally. Glad to meet you, Miss Pixie. He's going with you to the land of the Vikings. Hey, that sounds great. What are we going to do there? Uh, now listen carefully, all right? I'll try to be as cryptic as possible. If you need any help along the way, unusual horns will save the day. <laughs> See ya. That's pretty cryptic. <laughs> Oh, gracious, I hope you can help me. You see, if I don't find the magical musical golden horn, I'll never be a full-fledged wizard. This is my last chance. You'll do just fine. We'll leave right away. Right, 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 right. Oh, sorry, Wolf. I forgot about your doggy treat. I'll just move the couch and... Let me help you with my magic. I just finished a class in live... Uh, I finished a class in levitation. And rise over stuffed couch in the air. Higher and higher. Way up there. Not bad. Now I have a couch with a view. Come on, Miss Pixie. Let's get on our way. It was about time you got here. Oh, mind your own beeswax. I don't have time to gab. I must get to the portal before it... Oh, something tells me I should get in there. Okay, Wally Watchers. Keep your eyes wide open for a woman carrying two Vikings and two women braided together. Oh, what a lovely place. It seems so peaceful here. Or maybe not. My gracious, the village is attacking the Vikings. I mean, I mean, the Vikings are attacking the, the, the village. You get to move on, you scabby scalawag skit. Speaking of scalawag skit, it looks like Adler is up to his old tricks. <laughs> So, chap, I've always had admiration for you robust macho Viking fellows. I wonder if I might apply for a position with your group. Position? Perhaps something in middle management? You want the job? I'll give you a job. <laughs> Here, get it this and work this way. You shouldn't be here, folks. You're in the middle of a Viking raid. You better go right away. But gracious, we can. I must find the Gilded Mosey Cologne. I mean, the Mosey Surgical 
musical. I mean the... Oh, you mean the golden musical horn. Yes, that's it. No problem. I can help you with that. If my people, the Glurb, survive this attack. Better come with me. We've had 22 Viking raids this month. And three since yesterday morning. This must be your busy season, huh? Nothing to uh, worry about. I have just the brick. I mean, trick. So the Vikings can't find you, I'll simply make everyone invisible. <laughs> Miss Pixie's magic seems to have a pattern. None of it works. Oh, dear me. I failed again. Not at all. Lars, come over here. What am I supposed to do in my underwear? Just stand right over here. <laughs> and we better finish the job before they try climbing over again. Well, I mean, I, what, what, what are we, I mean, I, what, good idea. Vikings are extremely superstitious. This ought to frighten them away. All right. Not just any kite, a giant Chinese dragon kite. It's authentic. See what? I will say, I seem to be attached to one of your smelly Viking chaps. Would you mind unhooking me, please? Sure. And I've got the pass for you on the machine. Oh, thank you so much. But I changed my mind, so I'll be on my way. Uh. Not so fast, champ. Take this hole. Or what? Or you'll be eating strand of food for the rest of your life. Oh, well, since you put it so pleasantly. Shavovsk! And as the Viking ship sails away, we hear the cheers of the relieved Zerb villagers. Cheers! Hooray! And so you see, for Miss Pixie to become a full-fledged wizard, she must find the magical golden horn. Golden horn? What golden horn? Oh, yes, that golden horn. Well, that's what I'm here for, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, I can tell you where it is. But you're asking for big trouble. You must sail to the edge of the earth. The edge? Great! I'm ready to go. How about you, Wolf? Now, it's a long, foolish journey. It could take months. Hey, hey, hey! We've only got 13 minutes left in this show. Why, I have just the thing. Oh, oh, very well, Now I remember. I'm supposed to say the magic words backwards. Abracadabra, dabracadabra. Hey, great! 
It's a purple polka dotted pot bellied sea serpent. I haven't seen since the last Godzilla movie. My goodness, I can't read this without my boo. By bow follicle. Bow follicles. Bicycles. I mean, my reading glasses. Right, first. Oh, how thoughtful. Here's something. A magic spell. Look into my blazing eyes, and I will shrink you down to size. <laughs> oh, dear, I did it again. Oh, oh, oh. What a neat trick. Hey, trick. That's it. Woof's doggy treats. He's not after us. I bet he just wants Woof's doggy treats. Here, boy. <laughs> Yum. Delicious. <laughs> hey, you sound friendly enough. Uh, of course I am. I never hurt anyone, except for that time I got the hiccups and swallowed that little fishing village. <laughs> Dom here to give you your next clue. Look for help from a woman with horns aplenty. That should be easy. But where can we find her? Just set your sails for that mysterious island over there. And so, Wandering Wally arrived on the island. Coming up is one of the most exciting parts of the Wally series. In fact, in the entire history of cartoons. Hey, it's a personal opinion, okay? Gracious you. I mean, gracious me. I don't understand why the sea serpent sent us here. I haven't seen one woman yet. <laughs> right on cue. Oh, <laughs> Brunhilde is my name. The Viking queen so fair. Lars is my man. He has a lot of hair. Hi there. We've been looking all over for you. Oh, for dainty little me? Yes, you see, I am... Um, well, you know, it was... You know what, how it... Uh, well, on the other... From the beginning. And uh, on the... Oh, yeah? You want to know where the golden horn is? You'll help us find it? Yeah, sure. My pleasure. You see, my husband Lars stole it years ago, but when he learned it could somehow protect the villagers from the Vikings, he sailed to the edge of the world and threw it over. Do you know how we can get to the edge of the world? Yeah, sure. You take Kiko Boulevard, turn left into the ocean, keep going straight, and believe me, you can't miss it. It's so nice of you to help, especially since we're total strangers. Strangers? Hmm. Hey, you are strange. Lars, we got a bunch of total strangers in our camp. Come on, the guys. Let's go. Again, folks. Well, you know what to do. Find him. If you can't find him, it'll go on your permanent record. Have you found Wally yet? I'll give you a hint. He's right under your nose. So oh, you'd better not blow it. There he is. Go get him, you boneheads. <laughs> Edge of the earth, here we come. How about some more of your magic wind power, Miss Pixie? Oh, yes. Dear me, the crowd that will hurt. Harder! <sighs> 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 
We should be arriving at the edge of the Earth any minute. And that's where our mind find the tragic, I mean magic, Dorn, Horn, and become a bull-fledged wizard. Miss Pixie, you'll make a fine wizard. Please welcome. You junior villains in the audience observe a master plan. And so our heroes arrived in the ice world. I don't know about you, but it gives me the narrating shivers. Goodness, I mean gracious, what is that noise? Sounds like it's coming from over there. An ice castle. Hey, great! Let's go inside. Woof, a real ice castle. Completely unknown to the natives of the Sahara Desert. Dear me, the music is coming from that Durang, 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 over there. Mm. Maybe if we listen long enough, it'll turn into a tune. Oh. Poor Rogue. I mean, Scott, Spot. You're cold. I have some magic that'll warm you up. the sound of a nasty death. Someone is melting my castle. Intruders! Trespassers! I am the great ice king Eden. How dare you defrost my castle? Don't worry. Miss Pixie can fix it with her magic. Well, I, of course. I mean, maybe. Aha! This might do it. A magic oil thermometer. All I have to do is give it a magic shake and bring the temperature down. Oops! I shook it east and west instead of north and south. <laughs> what a relief! My castle is saved! <laughs> this calls for a little music. Yes, as little music as possible. Well, I've been trying to learn to play this thing since I found it, but I just can't get the hang of it. Maybe the tuba just isn't for you. Why don't you try this? A kazoo? Anyone can play a kazoo. Go on, give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> Eureka! For my first number, I will play William Tell's Overture. <laughs> Terrific! I guess you won't be needing that magical golden horn then, huh? Nope! Take it! Go ahead, it's yours! <laughs> A short time later, we find our hero safely back on top of the Earth. Needless to say, the writer of this show failed geography to ice. Oh, no! The Vikings are raiding the poor villagers again. Aha! Uh -huh. I have an idea. <laughs> Miss Pixie, remember what Brunhilde said about the horn protecting the villagers? Yes, absolutely. Well, uh, no. That's okay. Do you think you can play the magical musical horn? I don't know. I never played a musical instrument in my life. But I'll give it a try. Remedy Fort! <laughs> I've got 
got it. After all these years of suffering, the humiliation, the walking stick is really mine. I'm actually touching it. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Villikers, if we only had that magic horn, we'd never have to worry about the Vikings again. Here, I want you to have this. You need it more than I. Why, Miss Pixie, that's a very nice thing to do. Dear me, I hope Wizard Whitebeard isn't too dis dis disappointed in me. I guess I'll never be a wizard. <laughs> Wizard Whitebeard! Miss Pixie, you made beautiful music. Oh, I can't wait to get the CD, you know? You have proven yourself to be a worthy wizard. Here's your diploma. Gracious, I can't believe it. I mean, I can't believe it. Oh, thank you, Wizard. And thank you, Waldo. I mean, Wally. Where's Wally? Oh, yeah, hey, where is Wally? Hey, quick, everyone, check your pockets. Oh, he's done it again. Wally's disappeared. Try to find him. Because I'm responsible. To celebrate finding Wally, I'd like to entertain you with a little musical number. <laughs> See you next time! <laughs>